In Creo Parametric, you can define the CNC sequences in order to manufacture your parts. But sometimes you have to create manufacturing geometry in order to support the creation of those NC sequences. In this video, we will take a look at one kind of those manufacturing geometry entities, the mill surface. But first, let me explain why I might need to create something like that. Here I am in a CNC manufacturing model, and because I have created my operation and my work center, I now have the ability to create NC sequences. On the manufacturing tab though, you can see that I have a group of commands for manufacturing geometry for things like mill windows, mill volumes, mill surfaces, and drill groups. If I go to the mill tab, which I use to create NC sequences, we can also create manufacturing geometry from that tab. But again, let me show you why I might need to do that. Let's say that I want to create a face milling sequence. I want to trim down the top of the workpiece to my reference model. I will click on the face milling command. And one of the things that I need to select is a surface that I want to use. I will try selecting a surface from the model. This is the highest surface, so I will pick that one. And I also need to select a tool. Let me go to my drop down list for the tools that I've created in this manufacturing model. I will select a flat end mill. And no, I'm not going to copy over the parameters. And immediately you can start to see a preview of the paths that the tool will create. Let me turn on the tool preview so that you can see it. And I'm not going to change anything else. I'm not going to update any of the different parameters or clearance or anything. I'm just going to hit the check mark to complete this face milling sequence. And then let me right click on it and choose to play the path. And let me go to the play button in the lower right hand corner. And this is clearly wrong. I'm not facing the entire workpiece. I'm just doing the portion that is defined by the surface that I selected. So this is why I might need to create a mill surface in order to use for this. So let me just create it right now. I will go to the mill surface command. And when I click on that, it opens up a new tab with a variety of different commands that you can use for creating your fill surface. You could use common tools like extrudes or evolves or sweeps, uh, probably not revolve so much. Then you can use editing tools like to trim or offset any surfaces that you create. Then you can do boundary blends some other different commands in here, but I'm going to use a fill surface because I need a flat planar surface. I will click on the fill command and this will open up a new tab for the fill tool. Let me go to that sur surface that I used before. Let me grab this one to use as my sketch plane. And now I am in sketch mode. Let me use the project command to grab the edges of this surface. I will grab this edge then I will hold down the shift key in order to get the surface loop. I am happy with that. So I will hit the check mark to complete the project command. And now I can hit the check mark to get out of sketch mode. There you can see a preview of the fill surface. I'm happy with this fill surface. So I will hit the check mark in order to complete it. There you can see a preview of it. Note that I am still within the mill surface command. So I can use any of these other different commands if I need to make additional geometry or if I need to edit this geometry. But I am happy with this, so let me hit the check mark in order to complete out of the mill surface command. Now note that my mill surface is at the bottom of my model tree. I want to use it in the face milling command. So I'm going to drag it up above it in the model tree. Let's go back to my face milling command. And then from the mini toolbar, I will choose to edit definition. And instead of using that selected surface, I'm going to choose my surface that I created for the mill surface. And here you can see it listed in here. Let me hit the check mark. And so now when I go to play this, let me hit the play command and then run it. 
you can see that I'm getting much more of the motion that I want out of this NC sequence. It is milling the entire workpiece down to the surface that I want. Let me close out of play path and I don't need that mill surface anymore. So I am going to click on it and then use the hide command from the mini toolbar so that I no longer see it. So there's how you can create one example of manufacturing geometry, your mill surface.